Willie D. Live. What's up, family? Judge Greg Mathis was recently approached at the airport by TMZ and asked about his wife filing for a divorce, and he made it abundantly clear that he wants his wife back. I ain't got no problem with that, but some of y'all do, so let's talk about it. What's wrong with wanting your wife back, man? You got yourself a good woman. What's wrong with wanting your wife back? Man, you got people all on social media cracking jokes, and yeah, you know, you never miss your water till you well run dry, and suck it up, and all this kind of stuff. Hey, fam, I get it, I get it, I get it. But it is true, you don't miss your water till your well runs dry. But I'm gonna tell you something. That man said, <laughs> I'm going to get my wife back. I believed him. I mean, I felt that. I felt that. It can happen, fam. You can be in love with a woman and you can neglect that woman. doesn't mean that you love her any less, but you can get caught up in your career, get caught up in hanging with the fellas and all of that type of stuff. As Judge Mathis so eloquently put it, when dude first approached Judge Mathis, he asked him how he was doing, and Judge was like, I'm doing fine. Then he caught himself, he said, you know what? Matter of fact, I'm not doing fine. I'm having the worst days of my life, how about that? And he said, maybe I can uh, be a cautionary tale for other men. He said, never be too busy. Uh, ever since I started taping in LA, I made my wife more of a priority, but he said he had been gone for three weeks. He said that they are still in the same household and he's hopeful that they can reconcile before she follow all the way through with it. He said that they are still friends. They do still live under the same roof and he is hopeful that she will reconsider. He added that he's doing everything he can to turn around the relationship and win Linda back. They've been together for 39 years, fam. That, that's a good run right there. I mean, that's a damn good run. Do what you got to do to maintain your relationship. I don't give a damn what nobody else is saying. You got to do what makes you sleep good. You have to do what makes you happy. Your friend is not going to help pay your kids tuition. Your mama is not going to be there when you roll over in the middle of the night and you can't sleep because something is worrying you. She won't be there to console you. You might be able to get on the phone, but she ain't gonna be there in that moment. These trolls online, these so-called supporters, whatever you wanna call them, followers, they're not going to give you a kidney if you need a transplant. These online trolls, these Followers, so-called fans, supporters. They're not going to give you a kidney if you need a transplant. You got to do what works for you. You got to do what makes you sleep good. No more talk.